It's probably true. Just, the defense is changing at post snap and stuff like that. It's probably the biggest thing. How much different did it feel for you after halftime? Uh, felt felt a lot more comfortable for sure. Just getting in a, in a routine, getting in a rhythm. Uh, going back in the second half, felt a little more comfortable, so it was good. Did you feel uh, like you took a monkey off your back with that first one that you got in there? Yeah, no, definitely. It was good to get this, get this first one under my belt. So the coach trainer good. tell you that the plan was to get you out there when when you came in in the second half, or was it just kind of letting the situation unfold? You said what? It was the, the plan. Half? Did Coach Streeter say the plan was for, to bring you in when they did in the first half? Yeah, yeah. They told me. Uh, they told me beginning of this week, and we kind of had a plan. And, and so, I mean, I was ready for that and it worked out well. Trevor, what's it been like going through this quarterback battle for the past, I guess, since you got here this spring? It's been, it's been really good. It's, it's definitely made me better, and uh, I think it's made Kelly a lot better, too. So just us competing, and we have a good relationship. So uh, it's been really good for us and the team. Trevor, I'm sure when you think about your first game, it's something that you've been thinking about for a while. What was different with the reality versus what you were, what the perception was for you? Uh, I mean... It's not much different than what we've been doing in practice and everything. I mean, it's a lot of fans and, and that, obviously. But other than that, I mean, it's just football, you know. So it's, at the end of the day, you just got to make plays. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty much it. How would you grade how you played today? Uh, I don't know exactly like how I would grade. I think I played I think I played pretty well. I missed a few throws, definitely, that I wish I would have hit. But um, as far as decision-making and everything, I felt like it was pretty good. What was it like coming in and out of the game and kind of that rotation? We've been doing that in practice and everything, so we're, we're kind of used to it, and I, I've, I'm kind of used to it, so it wasn't much different than practice, really. With the long off season battle and all the hype that's been around the quarterback battle, do you feel like a little bit of a weight has been lifted off your shoulders now that you've got a game under your belt? Uh, yeah, just, just kind of, I mean, it's just been it's just been crazy, people talking and everything about everything, and it's just good to get out there. Me and Kelly just kind of split time and play well, both of us, so it was good just to get that first one under our belt and uh, feel really good going to the next one. Have you developed a favorite receiver? Uh, I don't really have a favorite. We have we got like 10, 10 good ones, so I mean, I, don't, I couldn't tell you that. How would you describe the attention you've gotten since you've gotten on campus? Uh, I mean, it's been it's been a, been a lot, but nothing nothing too crazy. I mean, just like a normal student going to class, and so it's not been not been that much. So it's been good. Is it something that you embrace, or? Yeah, I embrace it. I, I try to definitely avoid some situations as far as like lots of people and, and stuff like that. But other than that, it's it's been good. I feel like you went into the day with. Um. Like I said, just a few things, just missing throws uh, today that I want to work on this week. And then as far as decision making, I thought it was pretty good, but you know, playing a new team next week, just really, really studying their defense and knowing, knowing what, what they're going to throw at us. You feel like you had something to prove coming in, and if so, did you prove it? Um, I don't really feel like I had anything to prove. I mean, uh, we've been, like I said, me and Kelly, we've been competing all spring, all fall, and everything. So, I mean, everything has been, we've been handling on the field. And I didn't feel like I really had to prove anything, but definitely wanted to have a good first game just to kind of start the season the right way. You to kind of take us through that 42 yard completion to Cornell on, on third down. What did you see on that play? Oh, we just had a, I mean, they jumped, so we snapped it. So we got a free play, so just threw it out there, let them go get it. Yeah. Well, you took a couple, you took a couple uh, tough licks in there. Um, and yeah. Did you see anything, anything like that in high school? Uh, I mean, sometimes not. I mean, not as consistently, I guess, in high school, but I just got to learn to run a little bit lower when I get in there, so it's good. How much better do you think this offense has to get for a few in the next week at Texas a and I think we have a really good offense. I mean, we, we definitely have room to improve, obviously, and a uh, few, few mental mistakes today, but nothing nothing's too big, and I feel like we played a, a good game, especially since the end, gotten a, gotten a routine and started to go a little faster, and we, we played well. Trevor, what's it like just being a Clemson student and, you know, how have your fellow students sort of treated you? It's been awesome. Uh, definitely like a family at atmosphere. I met a lot of good people, uh, made, some, made some good friends, so it's been really good. What is Coach? What is Coach Sweeney giving you advice on how to deal with pressure and expectations and all the noise that comes with being a quarterback? Essentially? Um, I mean, at the end of the day, like I said, you just gotta go out there and play. That's just kind of what he says, and he'll, he'll, I'll, we'll talk a little bit. Just going out there, he's like, first one in the valley, you know, just give me, just trying to get me ready, and uh, it, it's exciting. But you know, it's pretty much it. Are you aware that one, your jersey is uh, already hung up at one of the local establishments around here? No, I wasn't. I wasn't. Charles.
a sports boat. Oh, awesome. The expectations. What kind of expectations does that place on yourself? I don't don't really worry about that stuff. I mean, like I said, it was just nice to get this first one under my belt. We've got a long season ahead, just trying to get ready for that. And and trying to do that in school and everything, it's just too much to put on yourself if you try to worry about what other people are saying. So I'm not really not really worried about that stuff. How comfortable are you with the rotation process where Kelly plays some of you play some Do you think that can be successful all year? Or do you think at some point it can be successful? I mean, yeah, I mean, whatever, like I said, whatever the coaches, whatever they're going to do, it's their decision and, and I'm with it. I'm just going to go out there and play as well as I can. When, when I'm not in there and when Kelly's in there, I'm going I'm to cheer for him. So. Um, but yeah, I think it worked out well today, and if that's what we're going to do all season, then, then I, don't, I don't really know either. I don't know as much as y'all do, so, uh, so we'll just see how it goes. And, uh, but yeah, whatever they want to do, I'm, I'm definitely all for it. After going against this defense day in, day out, was it kind of a relief uh, to see a different color jersey? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Just going against them for a long time and not getting to play anyone else, it was definitely nice to have an opponent and really just go all in on them and not really. I mean, we have such a good defense. It's been tough fall camp and spring playing against them. It made us a lot better, but it was nice to, have, to go against someone else finally. What are your thoughts on getting ready to go to Texas A&M and that environment and, and all those people? And how different is that going to be for me as opposed to playing? Oh, uh, well, like I said, I don't know. It's my, it'll be my first away game. It'll be a big game. Uh, we got a big week as far as preparing ahead of us. So hopefully we get in there and, and watch a lot of film and just get ready for this week. Coach and staff has talked a lot about how they've seen you handle pressures that you were a freshman in high school and everything you've dealt with coming up. Does that help when you get ready for these kind of big moments and, and you kind of lean on some of those experiences? Yeah, I, I, I think so. Playing for, I mean, playing in high school football in Georgia, it was it's a pretty big deal as far as like a lot of people at games and stuff like that. So I was more used to it than a lot of guys and uh, been, just been playing since I was a freshman. So I kind of get used to certain situations and coming here and just having the guy, like guys like Kelly really to, I mean, he leads and kind of tell me what to expect and just kind of help each other. So it's, it's been, it's been good. Um, I remember most, uh, running down the hill was pretty cool. And, uh, and just hearing the, seeing the stadium full and hearing the fans was, for the first time was really cool. So. I know when you ran off after your first touchdown, Kelly was one of the first people to congratulate you. What do you mean to have number two there waiting to just have that season? Yeah, it's awesome just, just our relationship and how we've handled all of it. And uh, it's been really good just to build each other up. We're not, I mean, we're competing at the end of the day, but we're not, I mean, we're, we're teammates. So we, we really, we're really cheering for each other and want the best for each other in the team. What was the one thing today that surprised you that you didn't expect in the game out Oh, uh, nothing really. I think we we had a good game plan, and we kind of knew we knew what, what we thought they were gonna do, and for the most part, they did that. And uh, so, not really too many surprises. Not only you, but this freshman class as a whole. What do you feel like expectations are for you guys? You saw so many freshmen out there making plays today. Uh, I don't really know what all the expectations are, but we have. A, I'm sorry, potential. Yeah, yeah, we definitely really have, we have a really good class and uh, a lot of potential and. A lot of guys played well today, and there's there's a lot of guys that are that are going to be really good too in the future. So, so it's going to be it's going to be fun to see how everyone develops. What's it been like building a rapport with Justin and uh, Darian and Lente as one of those guys? It's been cool. It's been so a bunch of us have been here since January, so we've got to we've got to be together for a while and just get to know each other. But some of the new guys, we got good relationships and just a bunch of good bunch of good guys that work hard. So yeah. that, that 18 yard out to Thompson that kind of got you guys going. How long have yep. you been able to throw that pass like that with that laser? How old were you when you first could do that? I don't know. I can't remember a few years, I guess. So I don't I don't know, but but that was that was definitely a good play. So is, is Al Jackson, some of your teammates, that kind of throw? I mean, you don't see kids freshmen come in and make that kind of throw all the way across the field all the time. You think that's the kind of thing? that gives you maybe a dimension or gives us offense a dimension that can sort of unlock some things? Yeah, I think definitely uh, just from an arm talent perspective, uh, give us a put us in a good position to make plays. Um, so, yeah, like you said, I mean, just stuff like that, just put us in a good position to make plays. Yeah, when you look around at all the young guys that made plays today, including yeah. yourself, that's got to be, not just for right now, but going forward, that's got to be pretty exciting. Yeah, it's really cool just because we have such a veteran team, but to see the, so to see the veterans play well, then also all the young guys play good too, is just, we're really meshing and we're playing playing really good at the best time, start of the season, so it's it's uh, it's exciting for sure. Were you, were you nervous this morning and what, what did you have for breakfast? Uh, <laughs> I had eggs and bacon and oatmeal from breakfast. 
breakfast, but uh, no, I wasn't. I wasn't really nervous. I got a little bit of butterflies, like we just said earlier, like before I ran out there uh, for my first series. But other than that, wasn't too nervous. Uh, you know, playing the spring game and stuff, so it kind of prepared me a little bit. But it was definitely more people. Than Who do you think you'll grow the most over the next two to four games? Um, just handling adversity and just kind of always being ready to play. Uh, definitely. And, um, just mentally growing a lot this year and learning how to really like study opponents and uh, and like I said having a guy like Kelly in front of me just to kind of help me with that stuff and learn from him. So I'm when excited they, about all that. When did they tell you going into the week the plan as far as when you were coming in and how much you were playing that kind of stuff? Uh, just basically just how it happened. Like Kelly, we go in for some series and then after that I would come in for a little while. Then after that it wasn't really planned per se, but it was just kind of what they were what they were thinking. So then we just kind of rotate a little bit just to just to finish off the day uh, good. And then obviously Chase came in the second half and did well. So it was just, it was cool to see us all get in there and make plays, so it was good. Was it playing three and three when you started off? Was it playing that way? Um, Yeah, something like that. It was, yeah. yeah. What was your perspective about how Lin Jay comes in his first few carries and he goes for, for over 70 yards combined in the two carries? Yeah, he, I mean, he's been doing that in practice. He's, he definitely has big playability, and uh, he's broke off, a few, broke off a few long ones in practice, so. Kind of knew that coming in, and, and was excited for him. What's your um, What's your relationship with Kelly? How, how do you guys get along? We get along really well. I mean, just we have uh, just having meetings all the time, and just being together, like just with the team. We're we're around each other a lot, and uh, we we've gotten a lot closer um, since I've been here. So it's been really cool just to. Like I said, we're competing, but we have a really good relationship. It's not bad blood between us, and it's been it's been fun. Has so. he has he helped you along with some questions you might have and stuff like that? Since he knows the offense so much. Well? Yeah, if I like like I said, we we we'll watch film together sometimes, and you know he'll help me. I ask him about something that I don't know, and, and he'll help me out. So it's been like I said, really good to learn from him and to have him there as someone to ask questions and stuff like that. Coming in a little late, and you're in some mind after you already been asked this. Uh, was there a point today where you really felt yourself calm down and settle into the game? Um, or after the first few plays, uh, like I said, I told someone I had some butterflies at first going out there, but I felt like I settled down pretty quick and, uh, and, and did all right. So. Who are your roommates? Who are my roommates? Uh, KJ. KJ Henry, that's my only roommate. Yep. Okay, anything else for Trevor? <laughs> All good? Thank you.